G'day guys, what's going on? Ange here again. So as you can see, this is Donkey Kong and he's going to be getting a brushless upgrade. That's right, we're going to put a brushless motor in him today. We're going to get it all sorted. We're not going to try and make any external adjustments on this or modifications. We're going to keep it uh, nice and simple. Try and tuck everything in underneath the body and inside the um, inside the chassis there even though everything is all plastic and it looks very compact as it is. So I'm going to strip this apart. Um, I've already undone the screw, so it's just sitting there, but I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, I already have just done a steering modification on it because I was waiting on the brushless motor, but I am going to be putting in a 7,200 kV motor with a 25 amp ESC. Uh, the size will be a 2430, so it's pretty small and I'll open the box and I'll show you how big this motor actually is All right, so here is the motor and ESC as you can see by the motor. It is pretty small So uh, 2430 like I said 7200 kV with a two millimeter shaft. So we're going to get this in um, I'm hoping nothing breaks on it in the sense of gearbox wise because everything's just plastic gearing i've seen these uh being done before on youtube and um top speed's probably only about nine kilometers i don't want to go super crazy with super speed on this um the tires are very hard compact uh plastic or rubber um they're not real suited for high speed so it's going to keep everything stock standard and uh, we'll see how we go with it so I have done a modification on the steering servo. Uh, it's not the best modification you can do because it is a different mounting process. So I've had to run a couple of zip ties. Like I said, I don't want to modify anything on the main body. Underneath, if need be, that's okay. I don't mind. It's only like two zip ties crossed over, so that's fine. So I've got a nice uh, steering servo in there at the moment. There's not much turn on this, only because the tires are on borderline touching on these side guards here. I could make it a little bit more turn um, by trimming down these uh, bump stops right there. So these little these little uh, edges right here, they're the bump stops. As you can see when it stops there, uh, it gives me that limited turn. But that's okay. Um, we're gonna get to the motor now. So everything's already unscrewed and that is the motor in there. So we're gonna pull this motor out there's just a couple of screws to take off so the tire comes off uh, these four mounting screws come off and this motor should just slide out and actually holds in just with this little prong right there but i'm going to have to trim that because that looks like it's recessed into that motor in that little gap there so i'm going to have to work something out so this motor doesn't um, spin or uh, slide out so we'll get this apart and We'll go from there. Okay, so I have the brushless motor removed. And so as you can see, putting it up against the new motor, it's uh, pretty much identical. And so I, all I've got to do now is just uh, remove the, the pinion gear, place it on this one, make sure we just uh, measure it all up and get the same distance. Um, it does look like it's gonna be on borderline. See just on that edge there. We'll see how we go with it. I'm hoping it's long enough. Um, but yeah, we'll put the, we'll put it all together, and uh, yeah, we're hoping the best, eh? Well, just looking at the original motor, as you can see, the shaft doesn't go all the way to the end of that pinion. You can probably just see it uh, in that hole there. So it's probably going to be the same as what I'm going to have to do uh, with the new brushless motor. So it's probably just going to not be all the way to the end uh, for obvious reasons because it needs to uh, get to that gear all the way down there so i've pressed on the pinion gear to the new motor and that fits absolutely perfect um, obviously i've measured it up with the verniers and while i'm at it i'll just pull apart the um, spider gears to make sure everything looks okay everything's pretty healthy this is the just a try spider gear setup I'm just, it's already got a little bit of grease in there. I'm just going to add just a little bit more, uh, even in the uh, the transfer gears here. I do have a little bit of grease, but I will add some more. I'm just going to run a little bit of um, tack grease. Just got that from a local hardware shop. So that's a red, that's a red tack grease. There we go. 
go. Just the red tacky grease. You can see how stringy it is. And so that'll really be good for the gears. I don't need too much. Doesn't need to be super crazy full of it. Um, I really do want to look after this one. Okay, so, so far I've uh, reassembled all the motor and gearbox that's in. Just temporarily connected the uh, brushless ESC and the receiver. So we're just going to do a quick bench test to see what uh, we're up to and make sure there's no noises in the gearbox or anything like that. All right, so I've got the steering servo connected as well. So just to show you, that's what we're working on with the steering. So as you can see, there's not much travel in that steering, but it will do the job. And I'm just gonna have to hold this one down just in case. So we'll just go nice and easy. So that was probably the speed that it was probably doing uh, before the modification. So we'll just wind this up nice and easy. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so we are all done. So this body is about to go back on. So I'll show you what I've done. All nice and compact. I've got the receiver there, just tucked in nice and neatly, just above the, uh, the steering servo. And I'm using the original switch uh, from, the, from the original car. So I've just cut off the, the wire that was on this one for the, uh, for the um, ESC. And the ESC will be sitting inside the battery compartment. So it's going to be a tight squeeze, but it will work. I'll just push these out of the way a little bit. And try and do this with one hand. Get the little two cell battery in there. Battery goes on. Oops, sorry. Battery in there. We'll just pretend that it's connected. And we'll put our cover on. So guys, try and do this with one hand. Let's just say it's there somewhere. It does go in. And voila, that is all done. Try and do this with one hand. I have to screw it in. But uh, it does close up. So there you go. That will close up once I screw that in. And that is all nice and neatly tucked away. And then once I put the Donkey Kong body on top, they will just sort of sit on the side. And the only other thing I have done was just trim that a little bit just to allow for the wires to sort of slip through on the side there. I don't want to cut any wires or make them any longer. The, uh, the brushless motor, it's got really, really short wires. So I'm trying not to stretch them, but trying to keep them nice and neat and uh, tucked away in this area. So yeah, once I get this body on, we'll get it all up and running and then uh, we'll take it out for a run. And so, uh, so yeah, there it is. Hopefully this turns out well. It's not going to be a speed car, but definitely, like I said, I will be putting a um, speed meter on it to see how fast it does go with the new upgrade. All right, guys, so I finally got to get outside, and I'm going to give this a test run now. And so we're going to get this going on a speed run. I'm not looking for any world records, but I've got the, uh, the speed meter there ready to go. So I'm going to get this recording, and we'll give it a run in this uh, little car park location that I found. Still can't get full throttle yet. I just don't have enough room. I might actually go to the main road. In that car park area so far, I got, if you can see it, it says 34 kilometers an hour. So that wasn't too bad, but uh, we'll see how we go on this stretch now. A little bit more, uh, a bit more road on this one. See that's full throttle, it's pretty straight. Get him turned around. And we'll bring him back and we'll see what we've got. That's full throttle now. 
<laughs> Bit of a spin out there. All right, let's do one more pass. Hey, where are you going? All right, let's see what we've got. 40 kilometers an hour. So right on the money at 40 Ks. So it's better than the nine kilometers that it was doing. A little bit of a, just a fun thing to do, upgrade the motor and the, and the uh, steering server on it. And just, uh, yeah, just to see what I could get, uh, what kind of speeds I could get with it. So yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm only running a 2S uh, 1300 milliamp uh, battery because that's all that's going to fit in the battery compartment on this one. See what we've got. I did have 40 before. I'll see if I've got anything higher, but I don't think so. Alright, let's see what we've got. Oh, 48. 48 kilometers an hour. And it is a flat run here. There's no slopes or hills. It is completely flat. It's just got a bit of a camber on the side of the road, but it is pretty much flat here so yeah 48 kilometers that's the fastest donkey kong's ever gone i think yeah so that's just on a little 2s battery 1300 milliamp uh with a 2430 uh, motor at 7000 something kv <laughs> i forgot but i'll put it in the description below and a steering servo to go along with it so uh yeah hope you enjoyed that guys and i'll uh i'll see you on the next run